Jordan Pickford won his 73rd England cap last night as England beat Ireland 5-0 at Wembley Stadium in Lee Carsley's final game. Pickford now moves on to the same number of caps as Gordon Banks. He's got the same amount of clean sheets as well. And he is just two behind David Seaman and Joe Hart, who are joint second behind Peter Shilton in the all-time list. So Jordan Pickford's got his uh, sights firmly set on those uh, those two goalkeepers as his next aim. Three more caps will take him clear on his own in second behind Peter Shilton. So uh, he did well there. Uh, Jake O'Brien was an unused substitute for Ireland um, during that game. Everton midfielder Oral Mangala played the uh, the game for Belgium, but they were beaten 1-0 by Israel. Uh, Mangala he was criticised for his performance by some Belgian press, saying he passed the ball back too often. Uh, but there is further news on Mangala today, with obviously the ongoing financial difficulties that Leon are finding themselves in. There's some rumours coming out of France today that Everton will be able to sign the midfielder on the cheap in January, Everton do have a option to buy Mangala at the end of the season. Everton left back Vitaly Mikolenko played for the Ukraine on Saturday as they drew 1 1 in Georgia. And young Everton defender Eli Campbell, who's on loan at Ross County, played full 90 minutes for England under 20 side as they beat Germany 4 0. So well done to him. Brentford uh, have an attacking headache ahead of Saturday's trip to Goodison Park. There's rumours today coming out that both attackers, Brian and Bumo and Johan Wisser, are injury doubts for Thomas Franksman. Both players withdrew from their AFCON games uh, over the weekend and during the international break with injury worries. Uh, Brentford will obviously give them as much time as possible in order to make sure that they can play at Goodison Park on Saturday. That'll be a huge boost for Everton if they were both out, but it is early days. Yeah, I expect them both to play. And finally, it was the last ever women's Merseyside derby at Goodison Park yesterday. Everton won the game by a single goal, a controversial penalty. Basically, it looked like the foul was outside the box. Um, Katja Schnuz scored the winning goal. It was the first victory of the season for Everton's women's team. Brian Sorensen, head coach, said they deserved it, but praised uh, the team for keeping a clean sheet against the very direct Liverpool side, which was hit with. So congratulations to Everton women. A big win in the final ever derby at Goodison Park. That is it for the news daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. See you later.